Right here, right now, I'm going to dispel the myth that women go for jerks. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothing com. I am Fug It. And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Guys, let's talk about the old adage, the old saying that women only go for jerks, right? You've got all these guys out there that, you know, you just hear about how they're jerks. They're, you know, they don't do the little things and what have you for their women. And you look at a beautiful woman who you're interested in. You're the nicest guy in the world to them. And, you know, you want to move things along, but you're, you know, you're cautious. You're overly cautious. Thinking that you're being a gentleman, you don't want to disrespect her by asking her out or going for the kiss or telling her about your feelings. And you think that you're being this like progressive male who she's just going to fall in love with because you're so kind, sweet, thoughtful, all this stuff. Now, I'm not saying that that stuff is not good, okay? But what I am saying is what you might perceive this guy that's a jerk to be, he's really not a jerk. I mean, there are jerks out there, but this guy is a man, He's a man's man. He's alpha. He makes no apologies for being a man, for believing in what he believes in, standing up for what he, what he believes in and what he wants, okay? Now, on surface level, you might think, as a guy watching this, oh my God, you know, it's like, what if she doesn't like that? What if she's like this? Yeah, it doesn't matter. And it's not going to matter to her. What is going to matter is that you're a principled man who has a backbone, who has a pair, and is going to stand up for what he believes, whether she sticks around or not. Okay. Now, there's a difference between being judgmental, a jerk, um, not really caring at all about her feelings. There's a line there, right? So the line is where when the guy is principled, he doesn't bend, he knows who he is, what he wants, and he had a life before her, and he's not jumping through hoops and changing everything to make her happy. He is who he is, and he makes no apology for it. He stands up for what he believes, and he's not trying to tell her what to do, to think differently, to buy into you know whatever it is of his lifestyle. He simply leads by example. He's a true leader. He marches to the beat of his own drum. You know, he's a man on his own island, his own mission, and his own purpose. And women, if you're out there, comment below, give it a like. Because a lot of women like a guy who isn't going to put up with whatever, you know, she wants to throw at him. He is going to say what he thinks. He's going to be honest. And sometimes it's a little harsh, but, you know, he knows how to reel it in and he does have self-awareness, but he's not going to apologize or change who he is to try to appease her and make her happy. That's not what he does, okay? Um, and it, at the risk of it being taken the wrong way, he carries himself like he's indifferent if she's there or not, you know, like if she's testing him, he's not going to start to panic. You know, if she admires another guy or she was talking to a guy, he doesn't freak out. You know, he's self-centered, He, um, meaning he's centered in himself, not self-centered in the bad way. And he's okay with the idea that she makes her own choices. You know, she's not going to... Um, scare him or sway him by, you know, giving him a shit test or a jealousy test. You know, he's going to pass with flying colors. He cares about her. You know, he's um, he's committed to her if they're in that part, place in their relationship, but he's not 
like worried about losing her, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. You guys out there, you know, I don't know what when this happened exactly, what generation it was. Um, I started to go down this path when I was really trying to be a people pleaser. Um, I wasn't secure in who I was or what I believed. And I would like almost transform myself when I was in a new relationship to become what I thought the woman I was with wanted in a man. And inevitably, it never worked out. Okay. Now, it was either them that just thought, wow, he's a pushover. You know, and a woman can't respect a man who doesn't stand up for himself. But even when I did all the things, jumped through the hoops and whatnot, that's what led to my first marriage, um, was I, it was going, you know, as smooth as it can go with one person basically wearing a mask and being what the other person wanted them to be. Um, but eventually, if you're living a lie, it's going to get old, you know. The shine wears off, you know, the new car smell is gone of the relationship. And eventually, you're going to, it's going to seep through the cracks who you really are, or you're going to explode like I need to be me and I'm not happy with all this stuff. And I've said in previous videos, it's very, it's a lie to the woman it, when you're not being who you are because you're selling yourself as this image of what you think she wants in a man. And I mean, you don't want a woman to do that for you. You don't want her to, you know, take all the interests that you like, eat the foods you like, uh, entertain the way you like. And in the back of her head or she turns her head and rolls her eyes and she just goes with the flow because she has you next to her. Nobody wants that. They want someone who's the authentic, genuine article who's going to love them for them. If they're not interested in the things you're interested in, that's fine. You don't have to have complete uniformity to have a good relationship. I mean, my girlfriend who knocks my socks off and we're coming up on two years together now. We are very different people, but the difference is we respect each other's differences and we can learn from each other in that way. You know, we know where our likenesses are and we focus our attention on what is good and what makes us strong, what bonds us. Um, there's things that, you know, she'll try to get me to do and I just won't do it. And it's funny because she does this and she said it um, a few times and I thought this would be perfect to do a video on so I'm finally getting to it is she suggested something to me and she knows where I stand on it and I just was firm like no I'm like not even gonna try it or I'm not gonna this or that whatever it was I don't remember it wasn't a big issue it was just something goofy and I was like nope and she goes she just looks at me she goes you are so stubborn and she looks away and she says it under her breath. She goes, and I love it. I was like, what? I'm sorry. And she goes, nothing. Point made. I stayed strong, still respected her. And, you know, it was a playful banter, but she respected and loved that she wasn't going to be able to sway me. Women crave strength. And they. some will admit it, some won't. I don't really care. I've seen it enough to believe it. So be strong, guys. And if the woman isn't into you because of who you are, there is somebody out there. Like I say, there's another bus coming in 15 minutes. You've got a big, wide world full of women. Okay, And women, likewise with men. Billions. So stay strong. The best thing you can do for your happiness is to be who you are, okay? Continue to improve who you are, work on your um, self-awareness, and just continue to build a good life, whether the perfect woman is in it or not, okay? When you do that, you're going to have a lot more to give to them, and you're going to be a lot happier, and they will be a lot happier as well. Like, share, subscribe, baby. Have a good day.